Hey everybody, I'm Doodalay. This is What the Hell is a Million, and I'm about to blow your goddamn mind. You see this? This is a grain of rice. Its weight is practically insignificant. In fact, you can eat a single grain right now, and within seconds, you may forget that you even ate one. But multiply that one grain by a million grains, and that grain of rice within your gut becomes an astonishing 44 pounds. Let me show you what 44 pounds looks like. Take this 44 pound fish, for example. That is one heavy fish. Or this 44 pound baby. Do not laugh. This is a baby. Here is another picture of said baby. So that's pretty heavy, but how tall is a stack of papers that is a million papers stacked? Well, let's see. This is a piece of paper. This is a basketball goal. It is 10 feet tall. This is two sheets of paper. This is 20 feet tall. But if I add another 999,998 pieces of paper to this short stack of nothing, I get this. 333 feet worth of mediocre homework assignments and tree skin. I'd have to add another 31 basketball hoops to reach the height of the paper, and even still it wouldn't reach the top. Where were you, and what were you doing a million minutes ago? Back in 2011. Were you jamming Rolling the Deep by Adele? Or banging Super Bass by Nicki Minaj? Perhaps even banging Nicki Minaj. Maybe you were donating to Japan's tsunami crisis or celebrating Bin Laden's death a million minutes ago. But what about a million hours ago? Where were you then? Hell, you weren't even born. And your mother? She may have just been a little girl wearing whitewashed shoes and polka dot dresses. Aw, poor baby. She would have witnessed President William McKinley's assassination in 1901 and would have seen Theodore Roosevelt succeed him in that self-same year. Tom? is flying. Someone spills a cup of water on the floor. No big deal. Get a rag. Crouch down, swipe it up. No sweat. But spill that same cup a million times over and you'll be swimming in 250,000 gallons of water up to your chin strap. A million individual cups of water is enough to fill an entire swimming pool. More specifically, this entire swimming pool. Believe it. The average man is 5 foot 10 inches tall. The average man also has two types of pain receptors in his body, AO fiber axons and C fiber axons. Pay close attention here because this gets pretty friggin awesome. AO fiber axons are the fibers responsible for the quick and sharp initial pains that a person may feel after an injury, whereas C fiber axons are responsible for the prolonged and slightly less painful pain that persists shortly thereafter. The reason that these two pains follow one another back to back, with one coming after another, is because A fiber axons travel at 20 meters per second, or 60 feet per second, whereas the C fiber axons travel at a leisure 2 meters per second. Seeing as how the average person is less than 6 feet tall and not 65 feet tall, it's no wonder that pain feels so instantaneous to us. But what about a man who is 1 million feet tall? How long will it take him to feel pain? Well, let's see. If I take this nail, and take this hammer, and take this toe, and collide them together with the force of a thousand men, it will take four hours for the man to even realize he's been hit, and take another three and a half days for the signals from the C-fiber axons to even begin reaching the brain. God, I hope that guy wasn't looking. Speaking of humans, you know some of them own a million dollars? They really do. But how much actually is that? Well, let's imagine that you have $10,000 in the bank and proportion it to the equivalent of a million dollars. I have just technically transformed you into a millionaire for the time being. This is what life would feel like if you were a millionaire. For a millionaire, spending $70 for a pair of shoes at the mall is the equivalent of you giving 70 cents to a friend. For a millionaire, buying a MacBook for 1200 bucks is equivalent to you spending $12 for it. A millionaire sees a tasty hot dog at a nearby hot dog stand, gives the server $3, and goes about his business. But for you, it would be the equivalent of handing over three cents. That's right, three cents. A million dollars is a truly substantial amount of money, and some people have double that, and some people have a hundred times double that. Okay, alright, let's see if we can put this number into even greater perspective. The average person has between 100 and 150,000 hairs on their head. There's typically only a few thousand blades of grass in each lawn, and even though most people masturbate at least once a day, that still only amounts to around 11,000 times over the course of 30 years. 
Now perhaps you can appreciate the epicness that is this number and come to a better understanding of what we're all going to have to do to become millionaires. We can do it. You can do it. But in the meantime, subscribe!